I have been thinking about making a solo album for many, many years. So when the pandemic hit, and I had just had a kid, could not play live, and I knew that by myself here, I would not make anything, but I knew it was the right time to write an album. So I called my friend, Dalton Santos, guitar player. For like two months, he came here once every week, and we spent the whole day working on old ideas that I had, making new ideas. Next thing I knew, I had like eight songs ready. I wanted to have the main band, which is Dalton Santos on guitar and Bruno Valverde on drums. But I always dreamed of having my idols play my music. I started writing emails to all these guys. So I wrote to Simon Phillips and I wrote to Virgil, who I already knew. And I wrote to many guitar players that I grew up listening to, fusion guitar players mostly. And I also knew that some people, I, friends of mine that I wanted to play in the, in the album, like Kiko, for example, when I was kind of halfway in the process of arranging and writing the songs, I sent him the music and he sent me back some very valuable feedback that I used to make the songs better and refine the arrangements. So I wanted to have him as well. In the end, we got to this final lineup which has all these big names and also friends. I wanted to be there for the drum recording, so I tried to postpone it. So maybe I could go to the US or Bruno could come here and slowly it became clear that it wouldn't be possible. So we started working on a remote solution. And he would send me recordings and ideas and I would discuss it with him and he would try it out, you know. So it was easy. With Simon Phillips, for example, I didn't have that luxury of directing him. I gave him total freedom to work on the arrangements and do it the Simon Phillips way. And when I listened to him play my song, it was just, a trip, you know, because having listened to, to these guys for so many years and then having them uh, playing your music, you know, was very, very special. And with Virgil, I just said, rip, rip it. And he ripped it. And it's amazing. My album is of course a bass player album, but not only. I didn't want to have the focus be only on bass. So the melodies are done on guitarists, bass, keyboards, and I wanted it to sound more like a band. You know, I wanted to make great music that I enjoyed listening to. So my focus was on melodies and on harmonies, on the composition. And of course, uh, uh, instrumental albums by bass players are rare in rock, but they're very common in jazz and fusion. And most of my influences come from these guys. So I was already quite familiar with the concept of a bass album. I don't think it, there's gonna be like a tour where I'm gonna do many dates in a row. I would love to have a release show here in Sao Paulo that I could have my friends come and family. Uh, let's see if that's possible. Right now, the events are starting to come back here, but there's always the fear that we'll go back to a lockdown in some way. So I don't know, but I'm working on it, yes. <laughs> 